from a box of baseball cards estimated to be worth $3 million to a man finding an official copy of the Declaration of Independence worth over $2 million. We take a look at 15 garage sale items that sold for millions. Number 15, Attic Owl Painting. Jane Cordery, an art teacher in Hampshire, discovered a detailed old owl painting in her attic after attempting to clean the space for a plumber. She'd never seen the ornate owl, but the painting's intricate brushwork caught her eye, and she decided to email a photograph of it to Christie's auction house. The attic artwork hit Christie's auction block, far outselling its estimated price. The winning bid was 951,050 bucks. Not quite a million dollars, but hey, still worthy of the list. Number 14, John Constable Painting. A lost painting sold for 3,500 pounds as the work of a John Constable copycat has been snapped up for a whopping 3.5 million pounds after it was revealed to be painted by the celebrated artist himself. A collector snapped it up for 3,500 pounds in June of 2013, but after taking a closer look, they suspected the original artwork had been painted over. Experts say the previously unknown painting is one of several preparatory sketches Constable did before creating the masterpiece Salisbury Cathedral from the Meadows, which was bought by the Tate Gallery just last year for 23.1 million pounds. Number 13, Million Dollar Cabinet. A long lost $1.6 million 17th century cabinet was found outside the toilets of a pizza parlor in Yorkshire, England at a Sotheby's sale after the carved wooden base was reunited with its intricately decorated top half. The cabinet, which features a picture of the Pope blessing the crowd in Rome, was sold for £1,084,500, including the buyer's premium. Number 12, Andy Warhol Original Sketch. Back in 2010, British businessman Andy Fields purchased a collection of five paintings from a Las Vegas garage sale for five bucks. When he decided to have one of the paintings reframed, he discovered an early Andy Warhol sketch hidden behind it. The signed drawing is believed to be of 1930s singer Rudy Valley and was created when Warhol was just 10 years old. Warhol paintings fetch absurd prices on the auction block. The artist is considered to be the bellwether of the art market, and the sketch is estimated to be worth a whopping $2 million. Number 11, Ansel Adams Negatives. Rick Norsigian paid $45 for two boxes of glass plates in 2000. Attracted to the plates because they depicted Yosemite National Park, a place he had worked as a young man, Norsigian tucked the boxes away for the next two years. After researching the plates, which turned out to be photographic negatives, Norsigian became convinced that they had been captured by the father of American photography himself, Ansel Adams. With the plates authenticated, Norsigian was shocked to learn the negatives could be worth upwards of $200 million. Number 10, Pablo Picasso painting. Of all the places to stumble upon an original Picasso, who would guess that one would show up at a trailer park in Shreveport, Louisiana? For Taisha McNeil, however, that improbability became real when in 2009, she paid Edith Parker $2 for a painting, purported to be fake, that was signed by the master. According to Parker, she kept looking at the picture and said, well, it don't look like much, and it was in this cheap little frame. It was estimated that the painting was worth $2 million. Number nine, Magnolias on Gold Velvet Cloth. The Museum of Fine Arts in Houston has paid $1.25 million for a still life painting that for years covered a hole in the wall in an Indiana home. Its value unknown to the owner and its existence unknown to art experts. The painting, Magnolias on Gold Velvet Cloth by the 19th century American painter Martin Johnson Heed, was sold by a man in his 30s who works at a tool and dye company. He started to realize the value of the work in January when he played Masterpiece, a board game about art that includes an image of a similar Heed. Number eight, Declaration of Independence. In 1989, an unassuming analyst from Philadelphia discovered a folded print of the Declaration of Independence, stowed away beneath a faded oil painting. Purchased for $4 at a Pennsylvania flea market, a shrewd friend of the buyer encouraged the man to have the document appraised. As luck would have it, the tattered copy turned out to be one of only 500 official copies from the Declaration's first printing. Of those 500 copies, only 23 were known to have survived the passing of the years. By the time the gavel dropped at the Sotheby's in 1991, the print had more than doubled its $1.2 million estimate, selling for an astounding $2.42 million. Number seven, 
the old vase. A brother and sister in Piner, United Kingdom, cleaned out the house belonging to their recently deceased parents. They figured that this old vase that they found might be worth a few bucks, so they decided to have it appraised. They took it to the local auctioneer Bainbridges in nearby Ruislip, who were in turn excited by the find and valued it between 800,000 pounds and 1.2 million pounds. However, no one expected the reaction from Chinese buyers, who pushed the bidding up over 30 frenzied minutes to a world record 43 million pounds. The total price, including commission and VAT on commission, was 53,105,000 pounds. Number six, Coca-Cola stock certificate. In 2008, a California man named Tony Marone bought a box of documents at a neighborhood garage sale for five bucks. When he got home, Marone examined his take and noticed that one of the documents was a 1917 stock certificate for 1,625 shares of the Palmer Union Oil Company. With a little investigating, Marone discovered that Palmer Union Oil merged with the company and that company then merged again with Coke. And according to the lawsuit, his twice merged shares would entitle him to 1.8 million shares, worth an estimated $130 million. Number five. Mazarin Chest. This 17th century Japanese lacquer box was a masterpiece in its time, and in our time, stout enough to support a heavy television set. It is now known as the Mazarin Chest. For several years, the largest of the two Mazarin golden chests was considered lost. It turns out that in 1970, the chest was sold for $160 to a French engineer who worked for Shell Petroleum. The engineer used it as a TV stand in his South Kenningston apartment for 16 years. Philippe Riac found Mazarin's lost golden chest in a house in Touraine, propping up spiritous beverages. It sold at auction for 7.3 million euros. Number four, Jackson Pollock painting. Terry Horton is a former long haul truck driver and a bit of a harsh negotiator. In the mid 1990s, Horton purchased an ugly painting from a local yard sale. With no real use for the painting, Horton considered selling it, but reconsidered after a friend suggested it may have been created by world-renowned abstract painter Jackson Pollock. Horton then hired a forensic art expert. The expert, Paul Biro, was able to match a partial fingerprint on Horton's painting to one that appeared on an old paint can from Pollock's studio. It's estimated to be worth about $50 million. Number three, baseball cards. While cleaning out the attic of their late grandfather's Defiance, Ohio house, Carl Kistner and Carla Hench unknowingly made the dream of baseball card collectors everywhere come to life. While Kistner was cleaning out the attic with his cousin Hench, the two stumbled on a soot-covered cardboard box that was underneath a wooden dollhouse. That box contained 700 cards from 1910 that have been valued at up to $3 million a discovery some experts are calling the most incredible find of rare baseball cards in history. Number two, Imperial Fabergé Egg. In 2004, an unidentified man purchased a golden egg at a flea market. Intending to sell it for its scrap value, he ended up holding on to it for 10 years until it was discovered that the egg was one of the eight missing Imperial Fabergé eggs. When he contacted Kieran McCarthy, an expert in Russian artifacts, who recounted that his spine was shivering as he estimated the egg's value at nearly $30 million. Number one, the bowl. A New York family picked up a Chinese bowl at a garage sale for $3 and found out that it's actually a 1,000-year-old treasure worth $2.2 million. The bowl, ceramic, five inches in diameter with a sawtooth pattern etched around the outside, was eventually sold to a London dealer, Giuseppe Escanazzi, at the Sotheby's Auction House in New York in March of 2013. Sotheby's said the bowl was from the Northern Song Dynasty, which ruled China from 960 to 1127 and is known for its cultural and artistic advances.